It was one of the more memorable moments of last night's presidential debate, certainly one that had our viewers talking. Who was right? President Obama or Mitt Romney on the issue of whether President Obama called the Benghazi attack an act of terror the day after it happened? Well, we have the facts and the rest of the story. It's a reality check you won't see anywhere else. All day long, media has been on the story. Twitter exploding with claims that nowhere in the president's speech in the Rose Garden did he call Benghazi a terrorist attack. Now, if we're going to break down reality here, we have to start with not only what President Obama said last night, but what he said he said. The day after the attack, Governor, I stood in the Rose Garden and I told the American people in the world that we were going to find out exactly what happened, that this was an act of terror, and I also said that we're going to hunt down those who committed this crime. The president just said something which, which is that on the day after the attack, he went to the Rose Garden and said that this was an act of terror. That's what I said. You said in the Rose Garden, the day after the attack, it was an act of terror. It was not a spontaneous demonstration. Is that what you're saying? Please proceed, Governor. I, I, I want to make sure we get that for the record, because it took the president 14 days before he called the attack in Benghazi an act of terror. Get the transcript. It president Obama's words there, he claims he called the attack an act of terror. He did not say, as media on the right are claiming, that it was a terrorist attack. However small the difference there, there is a difference. So now, what the president said in the Rose Garden. No acts of terror will ever shake the resolve of this great nation, alter that character, or eclipse the light of the values that we stand for. Today we mourn for more Americans who represent the very best of the United States of America. So to the question of whether President Obama called the Benghazi attack an act of terror in the Rose Garden, it is true. But this is reality check, not just a fact check. So to be intellectually honest, President Obama and his campaign cannot just stand back and say they always called it an act of terror and pretend those claims about the YouTube movie never happened. At least a half dozen times, someone from the administration linked the attacks to that YouTube movie called The Innocence of Muslims, including the president himself. And Chris Stevens, uh, the ambassador there, was one of the leaders uh, of that process. So when he was killed, uh, there were vigils in Libya, but also in front of the White House, expressing uh, uh, the deep sorrow that the Libyan people felt towards them. Uh, you know, what we've seen uh, over the last week, week and a half, uh, is something that actually we've seen in the past. Uh, where there is an offensive video or cartoon uh, directed at the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, and uh, this is obviously something that uh, then is used as a, an excuse by some uh, to carry out inexcusable violent acts. So what this means for you, lots of talk in the debate without giving you answers. In fact, the original question asked about Benghazi was never answered. Here was the question. The State Department refused extra security for our embassy in Benghazi, Libya, prior to the attacks that killed four Americans. Who was it that denied enhanced security and why? So in the end, the Benghazi question became about the candidates and their back and forth, more so than about the four American men who lost their lives in Libya and why. And that is Reality Check. You can find the sources for this story posted on our website at fox19.com. And if you'd like to make your voice heard on the story, head over to Ben's Facebook page and you can find it by searching Ben Swan.